So Samsung's new One UI 6 is finally out just before the launch of the Galaxy S24 series and in this video we'll be talking about all the details and top new features of the One UI 6 starting with the new quick panel. So the quick panel has been completely redesigned and one of the main changes is that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth buttons have now a dedicated space at the top. Likewise, the uh, eye comfort shield and the dark mode have been now grouped together with the brightness slider and I think this change makes more sense. And another meaningful change is that now the brightness slider is available on the compact quick panel as well. So the brightness adjustment is now simpler. Likewise, uh, if you go and enable the quick settings instant access, now you can access the quick panel, the expanded quick panel just by swiping down from the right side of the screen. And for notifications, you have to swipe down from the left of the screen. And another visible change is that when you play any kind of music or media, now the album art covers the whole media controller i think which looks better than previous likewise the notifications appearance has been changed and tweaked a little bit as well so each notification now are shown in separate cards which is better i think and likewise now you can enable the so app icons in notification settings so what it does is basically shows the same full color icon apps of all the apps which are used in the home screen as well now the home screen and the lock screen does not see as many changes so one of the changes i noticed is that the app icons are now slightly bigger than before and the lock screen sees a much more needed change so you can now finally adjust the position of the clock which is good and also one thing i noticed is that the samsung and galaxy tags have been removed from some of the apps from the samsung app so the app icons are now shortened likewise another thing i noticed is that the pop-up window now does not minimize automatically when you open and leave the recent app it now stays open so there have been a lot of small changes and one of them is that the emojis on the samsung keyboard have been redesigned so uh, they look similar well not that different from before but i think they are quite noticeable and another area uh, where we see a lot of quick tweaks or you know small changes is the camera app so first the quick settings buttons on the preview screen have been redesigned to be simpler than before and now you can directly change the photo resolution from the quick settings which is very very good and to change the video size you now have a pop-up which makes it easier to choose the settings also if you use filter and face effect you now have a dial to change the intensity instead of the slider which is better i think additionally you can also add a custom camera widget the custom camera widget can be set to open in a specific shooting mode as well for example you can set the widget to start in video mode from the front camera you can also save pictures in an album of your choice as well also you now have the option to make the watermark appear at the top of the photos as well previously the watermark only appeared at the bottom of the photos and if you're someone who uses the camera with the grid on uh, it will now show the level line in the middle of the screen as well to show if the picture is level with the ground so have you ever felt that the phone is taking longer to capture the photos after you have pressed the shutter button well that may be because the phone is processing to make your photos look better so uh, if you prioritize speed over quality now the one ui 6 lets you choose between three levels of quality optimization so uh, the maximum is set by default which takes much longer to process so now you can set it to medium or also to minimum and if you prioritize you know balance then you can set it to medium for balance between quality and speed also, how many of you use the document scan feature on your phone? Well, previously, uh, we needed to turn on the scene optimizer on the Samsung phone to scan the document, but now One UI 6 lets you scan the document even if it is turned off. Now, moving on to the gallery, we do see some changes on the gallery as well. So now when you view a particular picture and if you swipe up to view the details like dates and all the things of the picture, now it provides you quick access to effects and editing settings as well. Uh, likewise, now you can drag and drop the pictures from one album to another. This might not be that handy, but you can do it now. So if you select one picture, then drag it and send it to another album, you can do it. Well, Samsung says that this is a new feature on the One 6, but we had already found this feature on the One 5, so I don't think it's a new feature. So if you don't know, Samsung introduced the clipping feature uh, previously on the One UI. Now what they have done is upgraded that feature. So when you clip yourself from any picture, now you can save it as a sticker, which you can use later while editing pictures or videos. Speaking of editing, the photo editor has also been updated. Uh, we can now see the straighten and perspective options in the same menu. 
and you can also make changes to the drawings, stickers and text you have added to the photo even after saving. And you can also now undo and redo transformations, filters and tones. Previously, that was not possible. Now, another audition is a built-in video editor called Studio. So you can access it from gallery or you can also add the app icon on the home screen. Well, it's a basic video editor, but you know, it will be helpful if you want to edit videos for your Instagram stories or even TikToks. Now let's move on to the weather app. So there is a new widget called the Weather Insights that provides more information about your local weather conditions. However, my favorite is the dynamic weather wizard, which shows this cool animated illustrations that represent your local weather conditions. The weather app has also been redesigned. You can now get more information, including snowfall, moon phases and times, visibility distance, wind direction, and much more. Also, now the map on the weather app now shows the local weather of the place you tap. So this way you can find the weather information without knowing the name of the city. Now let's move on to some other changes as well. So there have been a lot of changes and one of the thing is that the airplane mode is now smarter. So when you are on airplane mode and if you turn on the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth while you are on this mode, the phone will remember this setting and the next time you turn on the airplane mode, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth will remain on. Likewise, the battery setting has its own top level menu now. Previously, it used to be a two-stage menu. Uh, similarly, the modes and routines now offer unique lock screens for each mode and a new playing media condition has been added and a new accent that can change the Samsung keyboard has also been added. Likewise, the trash feature for My Files gallery and voice recorder are now combined into one. When you open the trash in My Files, you'll also be able to see files, pictures, videos, and voice recordings you have deleted all together in one place. So these were the major changes of the One UI 6 and there are a lot of changes that we have not included in this video but if you want it, we will provide a link in the description as well. So what do you think about the new One UI 6? Do let us know in the comments down below and if you haven't already subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.